we're gonna rate the supers of Ultimate Marvel 3, which has some pretty good looking supers, I would say. However, not every character in this game has a level 3. Uh, only some characters do. But some characters like Spencer and a few others have cinematic level 1s, so I think the idea will be we track down the character's best looking level 1, and then if they don't have a level 3, that's this is what we're gonna just have to do. But uh, a lot of characters have level threes, which is good. So, uh, let's begin. All right, Nemesis, give it to me. Yeah, it's gross. Uh, it's a callback to his final form in Resident Evil 3. I'd say overall it's a seven. It's neat. It would be cool if he brought in all the other big bad guys like Tyrant and stuff like that, but yeah. Firebrand's level 3 is is utility. You could make another Firebrand that shoots things. And that's... That's neat. But on a visual level, where we're rating how badass the super is, it's unfortunately like a 3. It's, it's about a 3 out of 10, so it's not that great. I think Stritter's Ragnarok super is with a Shoryu motion. Because Orbs is not a great cinematic super. It is not. And Katz is a level one, so here we go. Pretty sick. And it's it's a callback to Marvel vs. Capcom 1. I've always liked it a lot, but I don't think it's incredible. However, I would give it about an 8. I think it's about an 8 out of 10. I still like it. Oh no, PW's in Japanese, that is not good. And then you smack him with that big thing, and then you do the super! Full screen, invincible, you cannot escape. The Ghost Rider is, is committed some sins. For how elaborate it is, and everything you have to do for it, and how good it is as well, and the fact that it's got a super huge amount of utility and it guarantees a character, and he judges you with your character model actually going, Oh god, I fucked up! I think Phoenix Wright has a high probability of the best super in the game. That's a 10 out of 10. That is absolutely a 10 out of 10 in my, in my book. I don't even like Phoenix Wright. I don't even like the games he's from. I don't... I could give so few shits. But, it's one of the coolest and creative supers in this entire game. 10 out of 10. Now we have Chris. Who's, uh... He's wearing boots. That's about it. And then he does this. And he, uh, shoots a missile from the sky. It's kinda nice that you can control it. But, uh... Whew! It's a 3 out of 10. I'm sorry, Chris, you came after Phoenix, which might make you look bad. There it is. Uh, a decent amount of utility. I think it's good because you might be able to get a combo after, but... He's just putting poorly, poor looking explosions all over the screen, so I'm gonna give it like a 3 out of 10. Oh, very appropriate, Arthur. I, I give that one maybe a 3, maybe a 4. Maybe a four? The dragon? Actually, I'll give it a four. The dragon is cool, at least. Alright, Dante time! It's really good. I think it's, uh, I think Dante's isn't bad at all. It fits the character. I think it's a solid seven out of ten. Um, I think the one jarring thing is that the character faces in this game don't animate. So, when he's doing the super and he's literally talking, his face isn't moving, which is a little like, eh, eh, it looks kind of bad. But, uh, still, the camera work makes it look great, so it's like a 7 out of 10. T-Bone! I think I know what this one is. Command grab. Yeah. I remember this from EVO 2011. It's cute. It's cute. I like it that she drags your ass all over the floor. Um, I give that one like an 8. I think it's... I got a soft spot for Tron Bond because I played her a lot in Marvel 2. Yeah, and she's she's a quirky anti-hero character, so I like it. I think that one's about an 8. Ah, that's right. It's like the same thing. 
It's okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything specifically wrong with it. It definitely looks like a level 3, but there's something about it that just isn't super, super impactful. Um, I want to give it a 6, but at the same time, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, so it deserves like a 7. It's good. It's it's good. It's not amazing. It's just good. Yeah, I do have it now, so we got to launch him, and then... There we go. We could just act like that's his level 3, and I kind of like it. I like it that he sticks a Kobun head, which was a big staple of the Dead Rising games, onto your head. I think it's a 7. References the game. Isn't super long, but for, for it is what it is, and it's a not level 3, I don't think it's that bad. Alright, here we go. Alright, Virgil. Unfortunately... As much as I despise Virgil in this game, his super is a solid 9 out of 10. It looks really sick. It's got some great friggin' camera angles, too. It does a holy nuts balls load of damage. And he pops out of Devil Trigger when you use it. Like, he expels all the energy into whooping your ass, and you get a combo after? Yeah, I, uh... I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10, despite all my gripes with this piece of shit in this game. I can already tell you I like this super a lot. Look at I never noticed Wesker's dankness. He's got some dank stink to him. Anyway. If Phoenix Wright's wasn't as good as it was, that might be a nom for the best super in the game. That's like a 9.5. It's about as close to being a 10 as possible, in my opinion. I really... I really like Wesker's level 3. Yeah, that is a... That is a bat... You know what? I don't think it's better than Phoenix Wright's, but I'm giving it a 10! I'm giving it a 10. It gets a 10 out of 10. Okay, here we go, Zero, and... Prepare for disappointment! Shit! Uh, it's a single hit, it has good utility, good amount of invincibility, but... Hmm... I think it's cool looking, but it ultimately does not feel like a level 3. Uh, I'm gonna give that one maybe a 2. Just because it is short and brief, and if it didn't have the utility, I... I'm gonna give it a 3. I'm gonna give that one a 3. I just think there could be something way cooler for Zero's level 3. I thought Ryu was a really weird-looking character in this game. Let's get a better look at him. Yeah, he still looks weird. But that's a good Shinsho. Unfortunately, it goes by really quick, so I think it's... Shinsho Ryuken is a great level 3. It's like the de facto level 3 for Street Fighter characters. Um, much less Ryu. I give it, like, a 6. I need dungeon mode. Let's do this. Yeah, I mean, it, it just gets a little bit more fuzzy Hado feathers. Uh, I still think it's a six. Felicia's level three. I like it. You know, I actually like it a lot. I'm going to give that one an 8 out of 10. It's comical. Uh, kind of how Darkstalkers games kind of were. Darkstalkers games always had this big element of, like, cartoony, weird violence. She calls in all of her friends that have different hairstyles and stuff. That's a cute reference, man. Uh, so Spencer, outside of being one of the best characters in this game, does not have a level 3. I believe he's got... He's got... This. Which practically looks like a level 3. And I think about that's about as good as we're gonna get, other than... And Bionic Arm does have a lot of impact. I gotta say, for a single hit special... It's good. But Bionic Arm was made by the moment that defined it in Tournament. Uh... Where, where Combo Fiend Bionic Armed Marn a few times and like won with the comeback. So that's like a big thing behind Bionic Arm. 
I don't think Bionic Arm normally is an amazing looking super. And it, to me, it's like, it doesn't exactly fit the character either. Like when, Spencer mostly uses his arm for like slight utility things, but it doesn't give him like a huge, like a huge super punch and other things. Like this is ultimately what Jin does. It's ultimately what Jin does with his big robot super hand that comes in and goes boom. He like stole Jin's move. I'd say for both his level one, I give him a similar rating between Bionic Arm and this. I think they're about a six. It took a while. It took a while, but I think they're about a six. Okay. Uh, here we go. That's right. Not traditional. So. Uh, let's look at that again. Okay, for being one of the flashiest looking raging demons, it's also one of the shortest. I think it would be really cool. Uh, the ending screen is friggin' awesome, but... It loses a lot of the raging demon impact because it's too fast. Akuma, I like it, but it's an eight. It is probably, in, in in my personal opinion, maybe one of the weaker Raging Demons, just because it's too fast. It's about an eight. Okay. I, I, okay, we're gonna say, let's use this one. I think this is Joe's best one. Because he's so tiny, it looks like he's jamming his hands up your crotch so far. And he inflicts a status ailment that is that only he does in this game, where you can do overhead or low. Um, right in the dick. Right, right in the dick. It's basic, it's not, it's not super cool, but I think it's really funny. And for the funny factor alone, I give it like a seven. Or else it would be way lower, but man. That's funny as, that's funny as fuck looking, dude. So low, as he just rips the juice from you. Yeah, I give it a, I give it a seven. And then there's this one. And I would say for the two that Shenko have, that they seem to be referencing Darkstalkers a lot, but um, I, I really wish she had a level three. I really do. Otherwise her level ones are like six. You know, they're essentially the same things that they did. They're, they're, they're references and callbacks to Darkstalkers. And uh, I wish she got a level three. Otherwise, I give him like a six. I give him both about a six. Are we all ready for this? Ugh. So, the glimmer in the eye and the repeat action three times do a lot. This part and then this part. Man, you want you want to make something look like it hurts like a mother? You repeat the action three times from three different angles. Yeah, Hagar, this is a pretty great throw super. Like, ultimate atomic buster. I give that one a 9 out of 10. Check out our level 3. Hmm. Funny enough, I don't think her level 3 is anything super spectacular. Once again, I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's specifically good. Uh... I would give Chun's level 3 probably a 6, maybe a 6 to a 7. I'm gonna go with a 6. It seems to... It, it, I like the rose petal aspect of it, but... Yeah, I think they could have, uh... I think they could have flourished a bit more on, like, lightning legs or something like that. It just goes by a bit too quick. I'm gonna give that one a 6. Nova only has level 1s. There's the, there's the really good one. Uh, that one only looks a bit better. It gets, like, Cyclops-sized when you take damage. There we go. Um, I think it's- I think they're all only okay. Really good utility, but nothing specifically super flashy about any of them. Uh, I like Nova a lot in this game, but he definitely doesn't have any amazing level 1s or a level 3, so he's getting... I think all of these get about a five. All right, here we go. Like 
So, uh, cool looking at the start. I don't know what the hell happened. She, like, hooks you down with the sword, but... Uh, I'd say that's actually one of the more visual confusing level 3s in the game, which actually has a lot of really good camera work in general. Uh, it's- it's a little hard to see what Trish exactly does. She brings the sword back, but the- I can tell, but the way it's framed is just way too hectic. Um, I'm gonna give that one like a 6. I don't remember Sea Viper's level 3 in Street Fighter 4, so this might be good. I don't think it's that bad. I like the angle that you see, like, you see the character in pain as they're going up. I love supers that do that, where you see the character getting, like, jacked up. Let's do it on someone else, like, uh, let's do it on Wolverine, just to see. Yeah, I like that. I like that you see their face and it's all squinched up. Uh, that's getting bonus points in my book. I'm gonna give that one somewhere between a 7 and an 8. Not quite a 7, not quite an 8. I guess 7.5 is appropriate. I do like it. I don't really remember this. Oh, that's right! It's cool, but I feel like it needs another sequence. Like, she uses the whip to whack you a bunch, and I wish she actually went into... There you go. I wish she did something with that, where she actually changed the wheel and use different abilities other than just like the whip and the dive. Yeah, I feel like it's missing a sequence. Otherwise, it looks really cool. Um, I give that one about a seven. Give that one about a seven. You know what? I don't like Ghost Rider's voice in this game very much. And you get a, you get a combo after. Um, yeah, I like Ghost Rider's level three. Good reference to the character. Because you paralyzed and jacked up. I like the effect of going into his mind and seeing all the, the horrible shit, all, all of your sins or something like that. Um, yeah, I, I think it's good. I, I'm gonna give it about an 8, though. I think it's an 8. So I think Jill, uh, unfortunately, has a utility level 3. Yeah, she does. But she does have an interesting level 1, which is kind of level 3 light, because level 3 is this thing. Which is just an absolute fucking nightmare, and it goes by so fast, and if you master this, then... Sweet Jesus, more power to you. Um... But it's not that cool. It really isn't that cool. However... That can practically be a level 3 as well. Um... And I would say if we would, if we would count the cinematic slash cool quality of this move... You're really kicking the shit out of you, that's for sure. Um, I give that one about a six. I give that one about a six. Not incredible, but it's okay. Hawkeye does have a level three. What the hell? That's right, it's with Ant-Man! Sorry, I spoiled it. Ugh! 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 Yeah, that's pretty sick. Uh, I want to watch it again. I forgot that they took the Ant-Man part away from them because they were obviously going to add Ant-Man later, and that shit didn't happen. Yeah, that's a 9 out of 10. That's a 9 out of 10. That's a, that's a great super. <laughs> I think it's cool. Uh, I like the fact that you see the character in the in the background, like amid, amidst all the magic, just getting super jacked up. It's nice and cinematic. It looks really cool. I'm gonna give that one about an eight. Yeah, I like it a lot. Is Chaos Dimension really fireball forward? It is. And then you just press a button. Man, you are getting jacked up in there. Uh. I think Chaos Dimension is an interesting super. <laughs> There's flipping out in there. Uh, I like it how he just like slimes his way out of the portal. I think that's a really nice touch. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight. And you know what? I think I like Iron Fist level three. Let's take a look. Level 
Yeah, that's probably one of the cooler um, one-inch punches in fighting games. Uh... Yeah, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I'm probably gonna give that one a 9 out of 10. It's got a good amount of impact, it's got a good amount of build-up, and it shows his face. He says, I'm gonna fuck you up! I like it. I like it. I'm gonna give that one a 9 out of 10. There we go. Yeah, Rocket Raccoon. I, I feel a lot of the, uh, the Ultimate characters got really cool-looking level 3s. Yeah, this is this is this is pretty great. Him hanging there from like the ladder. Yeah, I'm gonna give that one a nine out of ten as well. I actually give it the same rating as Iron Fist. It's got it's got good build up. It takes a while. Um, Rocket Raccoons is really good. <laughs> Caps wave dash. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, that's Final Justice is a classic super, and the way they frame this thing. Oops. Uh, the way they frame Final Justice, I think, looks sick. Oh wait, is it Fireball Forward? I was doing Shoryu. It is Fireball Forward, okay. Yeah, I really like the way they frame this super. Make it look like it hurts the most possible. Um, I give, I give Caps an 8. Dormammu! And I think Dormammu's is a Shoryu. Oh, I forgot his voice. Yeah, it's really cool. Dormammu is a awesome looking character in this game. And he sounds awesome too. Yeah, I like how he controls an entire reality. Uh, I'm gonna give Dormammu's probably a nine. Look at this back walk cycle. Look at this walk cycle. Look at this back walk cycle. It's incredible. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Uh, I think Deadpool's level three might be up there with Phoenix Wright's. Uh, most of the big level threes in this game are actually a lot of ultimate characters, but for a vanilla character, I actually think it's in style better than Phoenix Wright's, but I can't rate it as much as Phoenix Wright's because Phoenix Wright's is so much better. You never see this super. Like, you never... The problem is, it's so hard to land because it's a counter super, and in this game, it's hard as hell to land some counter supers. It's like Wesker's counter super. You barely ever see it. I wish it was a move you can do, but I love it. I, I think Deadpool's is amazing. It's an easy 10 out of 10. Wolverine, this one... I already know. I personally don't think you can get a better level 3 for Wolverine. They took the weapon, the classic Weapon X Super, and they made it incredible. It is so good. Like, I think, I think it's one of the sickest things Wolverine has done in any, in any game he's been in. He just goes ape shit. Uh, yeah. I gotta give this one... Like a 9.5. That's about as close to 10 as possible. I really, I really love Wolverine's level 3 in this game. And... here we go. I think Iron Man's is also super sick. I, dude, you gotta pay attention to the little details. The way he drags your ass across the floor. And the pose he gets, he does this Iron Man pose when he lands right here. Also, really sick. Um, I'm gonna give Iron Man a 9. I think that one is a- is a great level 3. Gotcha! So, I've also got a saw- the funny thing is, I picked three characters that I'm gonna all give, um, similar ratings. Like, I think Dooms is like a 9.5. Uh, it's really good. He puts you in a damn blender, dude! He sits on his high and mighty horseshit and puts you in a blender! 
I almost wish he did something else, but at the same time, it's so Doctor Doom to just sit back and not give a shit, and just let this shit roast your ass. Nah, I changed it. That's a 10 out of 10. I think it's a 10. I think it's a 10. That, that, that level 3 is great. And then he blows your ass up. Yeah, no, no, I changed my mind. That's a 10 out of 10. I think I think when I eventually saw and realized how, how in character the super is, it's a 10 out of 10. I think X-23 has a really cinematic level 1, but her level 3 is kind of weird because the situation level 3. She goes invisible and then whacks you in the neck. Uh, it's, it's super good because it's unfriggin' blockable. It's like a grab. The problem with it is that it's all utility and not much flash. If I would go by the pose alone, it's a low score, like probably like a five. Um, however, if you do her level one, which is like Weapon X, I think that one's really cool. Um, and I would actually give her level one a, a more cinematic uh, approach and score. That's about a seven. I think that's not a bad level one at all. It reminds me a lot of Weapon X from Wolverine, the old one. I think it's cool. I think it's about a seven. Cinematic level one. Yeah, this is practically a level three. I don't know why they didn't make this a level three, which is really weird. I think I can do Ice Storm into that, right? No, you have to like knock him down. Um, this is this is practically a level three. And I really wish they gave her a level three, and this made it a level three, but if I was to judge this alone... Yeah, it's about a seven. It's about a seven. She's doing... she's doing what she do! She's doing... she's doing what she do, and I think that's, uh... And I don't think it's that bad at all. Mighty Tornado, Mighty Thunder... Let's see what Mighty Thunder looks like. Nah, it's screen filling, it's cool. Mighty Tornado's also, you know... Very effective super, but how about this one? This is essentially his level three. And all of, I would say, all of his level ones actually get a similar score for me. They're all about like a five. Like nothing Thor does is super cinematic. They're all just kind of basic. I wish, I wish the grab was a level three and did more damage, but it's only okay. I think they're all about a five. So, Modok is unfortunately another character that doesn't have a proper level 3, but let's see what good level 1s he has and give him a comparison. Okay, that's a basic ass bitch beam super. Nah, that's a head ramming weird super. So that's probably as close to a level 3 as we're getting with Modok and... Once again, another character with nothing but level 1s and it, nothing looks amazing. Killer Illumination. Killer Illumination, easily the best looking one. But... It's only okay, he does like one thing. I think it's, I think once again, a lot of level 1s and they're all about a 5. They're just, they're just adequate. Spider-Man, uh, another character with just level 1s. Maximum of Spider, and then you get a Crawler Assault, or the Grab, which I think you gotta be up in the air for, sir. There we go. Classic. And then, Crawler Assault. Um, I think Spider-Man's got some decent- I think Crawler Assault and Maximum Spider are both okay. Um, but they're not super cinematic. I'd say the- the best one is easily Maximum Spider. If we're gonna take one that's the most cinematic. And it is pretty cool. That, that practically could be a level 3, and if it was, I'd give it about a 7 out of 10. Okay, so once again, Sentinel, a sad product of no level 3s, but... Plasma Sword is okay. I mean, it, it's, it's alright. Hyper Sentinel Force is, is alright. And then... Oh, dude, the worst part of Sentinel, outside of being one of the best looking characters in this entire game, is the fact that all of his level ones are kind of like, meh. Like, they're all, they're all like, I would give them even lower scores, they're like a 4 out of 10. 
Um, even, I think Hyper Sentinel Force might be the, the best looking one, technically, but uh, I love Sentinel. I love the way, I love the way he looks, but I just can't give his supers a high rating. I'm gonna give him like a four. They're only okay. Polk does not have any level threes, but let's take a look at the level ones. Okay, Gamma Tsunami is very quick. All right, Gamma Crush is, is pretty dope. Okay, so between all of them, Gamma Crush is still absolutely the best looking level one. And I still ask the question, where did he get that big rock? He went all the way up there. He found a rock. I love it. I still think uh, even though it's only a level one, it's it's probably Hulk's best looking super and it's a seven out of 10. It's cool as hell, man. Oh, you see Phoenix in this game and you go, oh no. Oh no, this game had a few characters that were game ruiners. And uh, this character is absolutely a game ruiner. She loved to ruin the game. And she becomes the worst thing. I'm giving the super a 1 out of 10. Whose fucking idea was it to just make her the most ridiculous fighting game character of all time? Whose idea was this? This was the worst. It wasn't gonna be good for anybody. I'm giving it a 1 out of 10. Personal bias kicking in real hard right here. This was a bad call. Look at all this stupid shit actually comboing. I don't even know what I'm doing. Character's a nightmare. One out of ten. Other super's like a five. Healing field is like whatever. Utility super, it's like a three. If I was to objectively tell you what Phoenix's level five is, it's a four. He just gets powered up and does some crazy attacks. Does it look amazing? Not really. Like, she gets feathers. She gets fire feathers. And if fire feathers look amazing to you, then, then you can give it a higher score. Here we go, super scroll time. I love this super. I don't even like Super Scroll very much as a character, but I love this super. He beats the shit out of you. Contorts his back backwards and just wails on your ass and the final punch is like... Look how cool this shot is right here. And then he whips your ass down and he gives you the, the thing punch. I want to watch it again. I want to watch it again. Ugh. Awesome. I think it's an awesome level three. Um, nine out of 10. Save Magneto for last. Sure. All right, She-Hulk. <laughs> and then the car blows the fuck up. I think She-Hulk has a great level three. Let me see it again. She knocks you out of the way, chucks the car to save you, and then accidentally throws it into you. Yeah, I think that's really cool. I, I give She-Hulk maybe between like an eight or a nine, maybe an 8.5. I think eight's too low, nine is too high. Uh, I like it a lot though. I'm not even a She-Hulk fan. Got it. You know what? Yeah, it's only a level one, but I think it's actually a really cool looking level one. Shooting the gun over his shoulder? Pretty sick, man. I, I'm gonna give it an eight. I actually really like how stylish it is. You never see this super. Like this super, I'm gonna show it again just because you'd probably never see it. Because it's so uncommon. Because it's like, once again, a counter super in this game, which isn't really great with counter supers. I think it's really cool. It could practically be a level three. It does like no damage though. Um, I'm gonna give it about an eight.
Uh, I love the crazy Star Wars sound effect at the end of Magneto's. I almost wish he did more, but the fact that he brings in like all the all the magnets from everywhere and it soaks up and eats your ass, and the whole shot of him like closing his hand and blasting your ass, and if you get a KO with that, it's even better. Um, in fact, just for this super, this one is is special if it gets a KO. The slowdown, the effects. Yeah, that's that's a badass super. I'm gonna give it about a 9 out of 10. Marvel 3 probably has some of my favorite supers in fighting games. Uh, the ones that stick out for me uh, amongst the roster was like Doctor Doom's was really good. I thought Rocket Raccoon's was really good. I thought Phoenix Wright's was fantastic. Magneto's is good. Uh, there's quite a few. There's quite a few. I understand why they preserved some of these in the future, but the funny thing is that I don't think they preserved all the right ones, uh, especially going into Marvel Infinite, which is one other weird-ass decision, but yeah, there's some, there's some great level threes in this game. They're really cool.